to Huntsman Surface Sciences UK Limited Whitehaven. We're part of the Huntsman Corporation, who are the world's largest privately held chemical company. The Huntsman Corporation is committed to achieving excellence in environmental, health and safety protection. We subscribe to the principles of responsible care to operate safe, clean and efficient facilities in an environmentally and socially responsible manner. We occupy this site with our neighbours, Rodia, who operate to the same high standards. Please pay attention to what follows, as we want you to leave this site just as you arrived, in good health. You will need to obtain a visitor's pass. Please complete the visitor's book. Tear out the pass and insert it into the clear plastic wallet provided. You must wear this pass at all times whilst on site. In addition to your visitor's pass, you will need to obtain a proximity card, which will be provided by your host. You should contact your host on the telephone provided to inform him or her of your arrival and to arrange entrance via a turnstile. You should park your vehicle in the Huntsman car park and enter and leave the site on foot through one of the turnstiles. Your host will meet you at the arranged turnstile and hand you a proximity card, which must be used each time you enter and leave the site, even if using a vehicle. Only you may use the card issued to you, as this enables us to know exactly who is present on the site, should there be an emergency. If you wish to bring equipment or materials onto the site, you will be able to do so, but only with the express permission of your host, who will arrange this with the security department. If necessary, your vehicle will be authorised for entry, and you will be given a pass which is valid for the date stated on it. In addition, you must display a vehicle pass in your windscreen, which signifies to others that your vehicle is authorised for entry onto site. Your host will meet you at the vehicular entrance and accompany you onto site. If you bring your vehicle on site, please drive carefully and observe the speed limit of 10 miles per hour. Adhere to the one-way systems. Look out for other traffic, such as forklift trucks and tankers. Park your vehicle on the area indicated by security or by your host. Your vehicle is only to be used if needed to complete your work and is not for transportation of people around the site, for example, to the canteen area. Transport should never be overloaded in any way. On entering or leaving the site, you or your vehicle may be subjected to a routine security search. This is perfectly normal and nothing to worry about. Due to the nature of our business, there are minimum levels of protective clothing that must be worn when inside the factory. These are hard hat, safety spectacles, safety shoes with reinforced toe caps, overalls, lab coat, or suitable outdoor coat. Your host will provide you with appropriate PPE if you don't have your own. You will be advised on other protective clothing that may be necessary. Specifying the correct clothing is essential, but it will only be effective if you wear it correctly. Bare skin is an open invitation for injury, so button up overalls and keep sleeves rolled down, even in summer when the weather may be very warm. Splashes, leaks and contamination can come from unexpected sources. Treat all liquids and substances with respect. It is your responsibility to protect yourself by wearing the appropriate protective equipment correctly. In the event of any accident, however minor, you must report this to the medical centre where you will be treated. The medical centre is sited at the north end of the engineering stores and is open from 0830 to 1700 hours, Monday to Friday. Outside of these times, report to the first aid room, which is situated at the main entrance, Solway. The medical centre is also available should you have any minor ailments whilst you're on site, such as a cough, headache, sore throat and so on. There's also a vending machine at the Solway main entrance, 
where medicines such as paracetamol may be purchased. Your host will accompany you to these facilities if they are required. In the event of a serious accident, incident or medical emergency, the emergency telephone number is 222. Two, two. It is particularly important that you use 222. Two, two. Do not ring the medical centre on its normal internal telephone number. It may not be answered straight away. Explain where you are and what has happened. We have procedures on site to cover such things as personal injury, release of chemicals, fire, etc. The main points that you should know are as follows. Every industry is under threat of fire. Here at Whitehaven, strict procedures are in place to prevent a fire situation developing. Each area has a local emergency plan. There are lots of different alarms on the production units, but the fire alarm sounds like this. Or this. On hearing the alarm, leave the building with your host and accompany them to the nearest fire assembly point. Stay there until a huntsman representative gives you further instructions. Do not leave the site unless told to do so. What if you discover a fire? Throughout the site are fire alarm call points. Break the glass to sound the alarm and leave the building by the nearest escape route. The location of the fire will appear on the zone screen at the Solway main entrance. However, once safe, go to the nearest telephone and dial 222. This gives you a direct line to the Solway main entrance and allows for more details to be taken, that is, the exact location and nature of the fire. Make sure you then report to the nearest fire assembly point. Stay there until a huntsman representative gives you further instructions. Do not leave the site unless told to do so. Fire and emergency alarms are tested every Wednesday morning between 8am and 12 midday. Each alarm is sounded for approximately 15 to 20 seconds and may be ignored. However, should the alarm be continuous, then you must follow the emergency procedures. Finally, on the subject of fire, smoking is only allowed in limited designated areas. Your host will tell you about these. The carrying of lighters and matches on site is prohibited. On site we have areas classified as fire danger areas, where all potential ignition sources are prohibited. These include non-intrinsically safe equipment, such as battery-operated key fobs, torches, mobile phones, cameras, etc. Smoking in non-smoking areas could have very serious consequences. It is important all warning signs are obeyed. Mobile phones are only permitted in office areas and are prohibited from use on site. Pay attention to any warning signs that you see. They're there for a good reason, although this may not always be obvious to you. Whilst on site, you must never be unaccompanied. If you're seeing more than one person, your initial contact will hand you over to the next person you're seeing. Upon leaving the site, you will be accompanied to one of the turnstiles, where after swiping out, you'll hand back your proximity card and visitor badge to your host. Never leave the site with your proximity card. We hope you have a safe and productive visit to our Whitehaven site.